go into a car boot? Yeah, first car boot. You're up, finally. Shock. Right, the GoPro might be a bit funny today, but... Um, Why's that, John? I dropped it in the last video. But, um, should be alright. I've got a new one on order. So you'll have to put it up with it today, but... Let's go. So they're going to see my point of view, and you're going to, like, split up and look for clues. Yeah. Yeah, see what you can get. Looks small, so... It's tiny. Normally it's, like, all these rows in summer. I've never been at this time of year. Yeah, I'm on it. Five. Just like take four. Probably yeah. ten. Oh. How much are the um, incense uh, boxes? Yeah. Two. Two. Yeah, I'll take one of those. Have you got any games to look through while, while I'm there? Uh, not then. Ah, John Luke. You alright? We're not meet you. Are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm good, are you? Yeah, good. About the pick of the bunch. <laughs> got a seven, mate. Great. Great, yeah, that's perfect. And two. Thank you very much. You alright? Appreciate that. that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Happy Would you like me to buy you one? Dan. You're very welcome. She did. We got a bargain. You did. Have a and nice you, it was your idea to uh, barter for your ring. So. Yeah. So we got the. Yeah. I'm so glad you got it. Yeah. The. Uh, yeah, it's a good one. Good one. I went away to look for it on eBay. And then I got a few games as well, which aren't bad. They're a bit wet, but I can dry them out. You know what I mean? What are they they're only 50p each. I know Scarface is at least a tenner, so. I've seen a subscriber there, so. Got in on some games, back backdoored. What the hell is still? Some backdoor games. The, the back of that quarter store, they had games like... One car boot done, one to the second one now, aren't we? Mm -hmm. uh, it's the Exeter one that I went a couple of weeks ago, which I didn't film that, but I'm going to try and film a little bit this time. And then we've got one more after this, so... Big day car boots. First one wasn't great, it was just a bit small, and there was a it lot was okay. of... But it was a lot of buyers and yeah. not a lot of sellers. Well, it was the first one of the year there. Yeah, I mean, so. like, it wasn't great. We didn't buy anything, like, a lot. You scared the shit out of me then. How much are your games? They're a pound each. Pound each. And those are a two pound each, and these the rest of them are a pound. Yep. Take those two, please. Okay, lovely. I've got a couple of games, but nothing crazy. I've seen a guy walk off with a load of Wii games, so uh, no, missed out on a load. Yeah, I got a uh, Far Cry 4 and Morrowind on the PC. Oh, okay, that's right. So I'm not sure if that's. I think it's too old for a Steam code in it, so I think it's it's sweet that. Yeah. It's 2002, so. Might be alright. Might be alright. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. How much? £4. Yeah, we'll get that one. Okay. Don't you take £3 on that one? Thank you very much. You take three quid for four of them? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Alright. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Luke. You're right, yeah, nice to meet you. I watch all your videos, man. I Thanks. love it.
Yeah. How's it going, all right? Not too bad, not far much. Good. You found much, you are. Just a couple of pops, mate. A couple of pops. Yeah. Then. Not sure what's going on. It's staying How did they get on there? That's what I looked at. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, filthy on top. Then, yeah. Uh, can't be doing anything with them. Dr. Who, but, uh, pound each. Pound, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Pretty little thing. That's nice. How much did you have on your coat? That one is ten. Yeah. I don't advertise where I'm going. I'm going to keep over there. And how about the red? And it's a short one, that. It's a short one, that one. Yeah, it's nice though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just kind of the wrong time of year. Mm -hmm. So I think Charlotte's done a lot better than me today so far. But but but. But. Mine's for me. Oh, well, you still got Doc no, Martens and stuff. Yeah, I've got stuff. They're Ten nice pound Doc Martens. Nice oh, you're gonna gonna keep them? Maybe. Because I was just looking at Doc Martens last night, wasn't I? Yeah. So we've got one more boot sale to go to, so we'll see how we get on the last one, and we can uh, go home and lie down. Pass out. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really nice day though. Beautiful here. Yeah. Layout and space and you're not, not used to big big car boots, eh? No. <laughs> you used to like a 20 car. So this one is looking a little bit small and it's supposed to open in one minute and it looks like it's full, so see how we get on it. Lying to us. Speed up. Someone's got it listed for £485. Non sold though. Is it worth getting for what I asked? I wonder if it's like a few quid into a hundred student like 50. Let me just go on therapy. Yeah. Cool. Cool there. Yeah. How much is your phone, mate? I'll take four quid on that. Take three for it? Yeah, I will, as you are, sir. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. <laughs> it's a real blast from the past. Yeah, I'll leave that one. It is okay. nice though. It is nice. Really nice. Thank you. No problem. So we're going to go home now, have a nap, and then we'll do a haul, see what we got. Because yeah. we didn't catch it all on camera, obviously all Charlotte's bits as well. We want to look at those because we're really nosy. Yeah, so see you then. Right, it is the day after the morning before, isn't it? So. Mm -hmm. You know, I was a bit tired yesterday to record. The secret is, I never record the hauls straight after the car boot. I always leave it till the day after because I look like a wreck. So, yeah. Charlotte's got a load of stuff. I've got a few bits. So, we're just going to fly through what we picked up, what we paid for it, if we're going to keep it or sell it. And, um, yeah. Right, I think you should just start with the big whoppers, really, though, shouldn't you? The big one? Like the elephant in the room. Oh, but that's one of the best ones. I was going to say that, like... Yeah, I think you've, you've just got to get them invested right. straight away. Okay. So, we paid £10 early entry, as you know. £8. Eight, eight pounds, eight, yeah, eight pound. it was eight pounds. Um, and this is on the first store as soon as you go in, and these were on the table. And if Dots. you saw that yellow stitching, With you would know what it is straight away. So the girl said she bought them from online or on a dock store. Um, so I said, are they real or not? I don't care. Just like you know, tell me. She went, no, they're definitely real. Um, that's the bottom of them. You can see the Doc Martin sign, and she wanted ten, um, and I didn't squabble on it because I knew it would be worth it. Right, story is, Charlotte, the night before, was looking on the Doc Martin website mm -hmm. for Doc Martins, all right? Mm -hmm. And then the morning after, so about 12 hours after, she finds a pair in her size at the car boot, and now she's saying she wants to sell them. But just leave a comment down below, should she keep the Doc Martins? Okay, because so, I think you should, yeah, and you want to sell them. Yeah, but they retail for £180. Yeah, and you was going to pay price. retail the night before, or you was looking at buying some anyway, so why don't you just keep those? Because I think I want... A, like a leopard print black pair. Well, we'll let the comments decide. If, they, if there's enough comments saying keep them, you're going to have to keep them. I say, if they fit, anyway, we'll let you try well, them out Are your subscribers the law? Yeah, police, they, they are, they are. You've got to live by the subscriber and die by the subscriber, so... But they're really nice. They've got all yeah, the... Yeah, they are. They've, they've not been worn. There's a couple of scratches on the front, but you can just polish them out and they'd be fine. I don't know how they were still there because a man in front of me, he grabbed a um, North well, Face puffer. Well, I didn't see him. Yeah, but you bolted right past. I was like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> You've missed out on these. <laughs> <laughs> but if I would have bought them, I would have said for you to keep them anyway. Yeah, but I don't know. So let's say, no, no, because it was your size. 
for a seven, but she said she was a six because you have to wear yes, socks thick socks and, and stuff. So they're a keeper. I'm telling you. Her mum said you should keep them as well. Anyway, this is just a top. It was seventy five p. Um, that's one to keep. It's cool. Um, this was seventy five p or fifty p from the same girl as the docks. Little crop top. That's a keep as well. Keep as well. Um, that's what I got. North Face zip up. It's in oh, like perfect. Fleece. Is that a full zip. Yep. Um, that one was two. Two quid. Um, perfect condition. Decent. Easy flipper. No, it's not all about you, you know. Yeah. yeah. I'm joking. I'm joking. joking. <laughs> I got a iron skillet pan. Um, they retail for about ten pound on eBay, the exact same one. But I may keep it to do um to cook for me. Mister's eggs in. It's only a pound, right? Yeah, only a pound. He had two. I don't know why I didn't buy two. It's because you texted me. You should have bought one, sold one, and kept no, one. No, you were waiting in the car, and I was like, <laughs> right, you do some. Right, I've got this horse protection thing. So I've got two of these now. I got one off Stacey. It's got Harry Hall on it. So if there's a Harry Hall out there who needs a horse armor. Let me know, but they go for good money, these, I think. I don't know. Tell them the story. Tell them the story, not The anything. story. Um, so I went and bought I went and bought this for four quid. Mm -hmm. He wanted a fibre, I got, got it for four. And then after the car boot, it was the first car boot, Charlotte said, oh, I wanted to get this horse armour. But it had gone, and it had me. She, she left and came back, and, and he said, sorry, love, some some guys already bought it. I went, ugh. Oh. And it was me, so. No, so it was a reseller there, so I Sucker! Thought. He told me eight pound. Did he? Yeah. I got it for four, I think. Yeah, obviously. Well, it's on camera, so I'm not even lying, I'm lying. He probably just wanted to get rid. He said, make me an offer, and I said, yeah, that's all right. Because it was like 10 minutes into the car boot. Just to sum up as well, the first car boot was Argyle car boot, mm -hmm. which was... PFC car boot. Yeah, so it's at, it's at the football stadium. It's the first one a year, so it wasn't massive. There's a lot of resellers and not a lot of sellers, so... It outweighed it a little bit. It was only there 10, 15 minutes. I had a quick look round. And then we went to Exeter, which was the biggest one. Went and in the early. One. The best one, yeah. For me personally, I thought I was like 30 seconds off the pace. Everything was bought like just before I got there kind of thing. So it was just one of them days for me. The next week, I'm up in the pace. Like, I had a good day. Well, good for some, eh? But uh, next week, I'm going to be on it, I'm telling you. Right, so yeah. And then after that, we went to Taunton Racecourse. Oh, so I was, think, I was thinking Exeter Racecourse and then go to there after. And it'll be like massive again. It was tiny, so... <laughs> But at least we know now not to go back there. Well, you have to go to know. Yeah. Um, I got one good thing from there. Yeah, we got a couple of bits to And you've got a who knows item from there. If you live in Taunton, like, it's probably worth popping down. But, yeah, definitely. But for us, it's not worth the journey. Like, yeah, because we drove 40 minutes to Exeter and then it was like 40 minutes from there. So I was, an hour and a half back so home. If we're already in Exeter and we could go to Taunton, it was a massive car boot. It's definitely worth the drive, but because it, it, it wasn't worth the extra mileage, was it? No. I'm just fiddling with that and John also... Yeah, I got that on camera. I think you um got your little ring. We love um crystals and stuff like crystals that. Crystals and incense. We do yeah. a lot of that. So yeah, we're, nice we're, we're hippies, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Right. Next up, I paid three pounds for a next. Pardon the pun. Pounds. Next up, hey. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> next up. <laughs> so brand new yeah. tags. Yeah. Mm. Forty-two pound, three quid. It's like a no-brainer. Next sells quite well on eBay, especially tags. Um, I put it on my mannequin with the belt. Yeah, I'm I'm the mannequin, aren't I? Yeah, you've got lovely shoulders to show that off, off the shoulder top. I'm wearing them. I bought some dickies, didn't I? Oh yeah, we're looking at a stall. John walks off and I go some grey dickies. I go, John, there's dickies there. Yeah. He, that's what he wears. Yeah, so they're like they're grey lovely. cargos. Paid a fiver for them. Pretty much brand new. So I've been looking at more cargos, haven't I, recently? Yeah. I actually bought the IKEA trousers, didn't I? Mhm. Mm and the person messaged me today, like a few weeks after buying them, saying, "Oh, I've seen you on YouTube. Hmm. Like, I love the content. I'm glad you like the trousers." So you I, do bought, love I bought the trousers. I bought the IKEA trousers off um, a viewer. So if you're watching, and you have any more, we love you. Yeah, and we need more. I love them. Love them trousers. It is a brand. It may be a little bit off season, but I couldn't leave it behind. It is a monkey, brand new with tags, faux fur, heart print coat. Um, I paid seven pound fifty. Because I bought two, which we'll see in a minute. But size just, that large. Yeah. Good size. Like, um, you know when it's just going to sell? Like, I'm on quite a pot, lot of Facebook groups. Let me stand back. Yeah. It looks nice. Yeah. It looks nice, like oversized as well. Yeah, it's nice. Um, so, it's lovely quality. So it'll sell well, that. Even at this time of year. It's I not, it's not, to, it's not exactly to, summer, is it? So. I tried to get her to do it for £6. She was like, no, love. She wanted a ten of each on them. So you got her yeah. down to seven fifty. Yeah. Well, I like, always like... You got this other one as well. It's only a pretty little thing, but it's still brand new with tags. You know these PLT, PLT coats, brand new? So I sell for £100 on the website. Yeah, yeah. But it's so, expensive, their coats. So, it's, yeah, definitely worth no-brainer, 750 again. Full length, show them how long it is. It's a proper New York. Well, whatever could, but it's proper, like, ankle length, isn't it? It's gorgeous. 
beautiful. £7.50, like, even You could have a game want. of checkers on there as well, can you? <laughs> Put it down on the floor, laid out. Yeah. So, again, is that a large? Yeah. She said she just bought them for herself, didn't she? And she just yeah, not she worn them. she wasn't a reseller. She was just some woman who liked clothes. Yeah. Some people might get the idea that it's just loads of brand new clothes on this thing, but it was just a, a couple of bits, wasn't it? Oh, does it come with a belt? Oh, that is good. So, you can cinch it a bit way. At the final car boot, I uh, got a little patch of mama beanie. So, I sell this brand quite well. You do? 100% um, wool. Put it on over that one. I'll try it on. <laughs> it's very like 34 year old, like blonde girl kind of wearing walking stuff. I, I don't know, like it's kind of like hippie, but kind of not. It's very comfortable. Um, but I actually picked this up and put it back down. But John's quite hot on this pattern and I, feel. Patch Mama sells like hot cakes. I've sold tea cozies of them for yeah, like has. 18 pounds each. You've got like a touch, you put your hand over it and you know it's... I, t I touch any wool item and then the patch of mama thing just appears on it. Pretty much. So it's the patch touch. Oh my god. That's just that's on us. No, it's, it's just a bee or something. A bee. Um, squirrel? Don't, John. What? What? I'd be scared if it's a squirrel. It is, it's something on the roof. Oh, I thought you meant that. No, it's not that, it's something on the roof. Alright then. Right, Um. again, at that other car boot, the third one i picked up this ed hardy sony ericsson um very funky so it's natural official collab between sony and ed hardy looks like a nice little burner phone for a drug dealer as you can see there how do you know that john i've got a friend in the industry <laughs> anyway i've not tested it or anything yet there's one listed on ebay for 384.99 i don't think it'd be worth that but they seem quite rare Got a lovely little box with it. I'm sure. What did I pay three quid? I'm mm -hmm. sure there's some profit in it. I said to John, just ask him what it what he wants for it. I said, yeah, yeah, I said, um, I said if it's a fiver or less, I'll buy it. So yeah. and it was. But it's, it's a nice little box, nice phone. I'll, I'll try and get it working. Might just stick it up high and just see see what happens. Be a good experiment. Maybe you can do a video on it. Maybe, or maybe you're just trying to milk the content out of me. Colourless hair dye box brand new. They're like 10 quid, I paid 50p. Um, I may keep this. First up, we got this Body Shop CBD oil cleansing mask. Um, this is from a lady, she sold them to be a rep for them last year, but this is just her leftovers, so they're brand new. That's like 15 quid, brand new. Three for five? Three for five? Yeah. So yeah, it's still good profit, now. I got some Body Shop things before, if you've seen it on my Instagram, and I just sold one item for 15. So that's good. And then this range from the Body Shop Drops the Youth. If you ever see that one out, that one is worth between 20 to 40 pounds. Um, it's a really expensive range by them. So good money back on that. How much did you pay for that one? Three for five pounds. Oh, is that, that, is that the one mm -hmm. I know? And um, then I got some Body Shop Himalayan Charcoal face masks. They're like 15, 20 quid again. So I got two of those, one for us, one to sell. She said there's a lot of money in like cosmetics and like usable Huge items. Um, I don't pick them up much, so they won't be on my channel much, but... Definitely uh, something to look out for and search up. Yeah. Worth a scam, do you know what I mean? And definitely... Uh... I sold a um, perfume that had about five mils left in it. Yeah. And it went for £60. Yeah, yeah. So it's just definitely worth keeping your eye out for all the gents out there. Look at your body shop stuff. Because this always turns up in little boxes on car boots. And always. Always. So definitely, definitely, as I always say, worth looking out for. Yeah. And then, not very interesting, um, this was three for five pound collection. This is a really low brand. Normally that's a five reach, normally that's a five reach, and I paid like a pound in extra from the Doc Martin scale. But they're brand new. So. Using them yourself? Yeah. I don't I don't wear expensive makeup. Um, well, you I'm... couldn't tell. Leather care kit for two quid. Thomas Lloyd. Uh, for all leather types, not going to discriminate. Um, <laughs> two quid, I'm going to put that up for 19 99 You might have seen these on the channel before. Picked up two of those Battle in Time binders. One's empty. And then one is full of cards. So I've done well on the card before. I used to love Doctor Who every Saturday. So they're all full. Not sure if there's like ultra rares. I've done well on the cards before, so I need to go through those. But even the binders together and the cards and stuff, they might get 30 to 40 quid. And I think they were a pound each, so good money. I used to like Doctor Who as well, like Matt Smith, David Tennant. The best. They, they was my two favourites. Oh, geez. Now yeah. it's just a bit... Mm. It's a bit meh. You know what? Um, that guy off Sex Education is a new Doctor, isn't he? You no, know, the the gay guy. Mm -hmm. He's the new. I just did that. He's he's the new doctor. Yeah. But um, I read today, Sex Education, that Emma Mack is leaving it after this next season. No way. So that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Yeah. Anywho, on with the. It's not interested. On with the haul. Another beauty item, High Smile. That's a really well known teeth whitening brand. Um. I think we're gonna keep this. It's got my teeth in it. Yes. 
Oh, we Another beauty related item is a revamp wet brush. So Dyson do these. Um, this is a low brand, paid five or six pound. It's all in there. It's not like being used once, so probably like twenty pound. Or maybe I'll keep them awful for keeping stuff. Out. Yeah, it's all right for a five of them, isn't it? Why, well, even if no you keep it or sell it, she's awful for keeping stuff, but she doesn't want to keep the Doc Martins. So that's what we need to because there's big comment pressure. down below. I know, but you want to buy a pair anyway. I want you to buy me a pair, and I can make a hundred and fifty pounds. We're going to Dubai. Dubai in September. We just look, so we need to. We need to shave. We need to shave. We need to save. We need to save, and we need to uh, make money so we can pay for it. We did get a cracking deal though, thanks to my sister. Yep. Shout out to Maria. Shout out to Maria, avid viewer, John Luke fan girl. Some would say. Yeah. Um. So yeah, she's books all on holiday. She's fantastic. Right. Next up is a Oasis leather skirt. Retails for. £32 brand new tags just a kind of a staple for any woman's wardrobe they fly out so easy 20 quid back I got a little Mario Strikers charge football on the Wii for a quid bread and butter first boot sale I did bump into a subscriber he was buying some games like back of the van like sneaky deal so I got in on it first time I've ever met him 50p each on these titles so I've got Scarface Star Wars Battlefront Transformers The Suffering The Godfather and 50 Cent on PS3 so there's some decent titles there I know Scarface is like a tenner uh, maybe a little bit more um, some of them might be a bit poo, but 50p each, can't really complain. I love 50 Cent, I've never seen that game before. Yeah. What is he like a gangster in it? 50 Cent, blood on the sand. G unit. I got this little golf PS2 thing as well with the uh, adapter. I'm not sure it was great money in it, but it was three quid for the both, so I thought I'd pick them up. Next up, I got a set of five Mr. Men books from my nephew. But if you can p um, pick up books cheap enough for like 10p, you can bundle them together and go for like a tenner. Yeah, yeah. So when's Ted, when Ted's read them, that's not what I do, if they're in good condition still. Yeah. There's a really nice one here, it's about like um how to explain your feelings, which is nice, isn't it? I picked up a Morrowind on PC from 2002, I think you can get like 12 quid for that. Paid a pound. Paid a pound for Far Cry 4, not worth too much, but I might keep that to be fair. You might like that one. Looks like I'd enjoy it. Gamer. And then my last few bits, I paid three quid for four books. Um, they're for me to keep though, they're like zombie novels. So I just thought, something for myself. Blood of the Dead, Taking on the Dead. Very, uh... The Dead Taking on's the next one. <laughs> Shelter from the Dead. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to call this next so, one then? You know, they're not, not very exciting names, it's always of the dead or something, but um... <laughs> Some of them for me to read. I think some of them are like eight quid each to be found. You eBay. can read them then and sell them. Yeah. So definitely worth what? 75p each. But if you can get books by the same author and bundle them together, put yeah. them on Facebook for collection or postage and it's just a guaranteed money. Yeah. So that's all from my side. We'll mm -hmm. have to finish off with your... You've got loads left. I have got loads left. It is a mid-century teapot and... Biltons. Cuts. Brand new. You never see them brand new in packaging. Bit of wear and tear to the box, but easy 20 to 30 quid. Yeah. Decent. So that is everything. That's a decent little day at the car boot. Obviously, we hit three car boots. In future, I'm just going to do the two. Next weekend, I'm just going to do like Matford, I think, and then Exeter. If you did enjoy today's video, hit like, hit subscribe if you are new. Uh, leave a comment down below what was your favourite find of ours. Um, probably be the Doc Martins. And let us know if she should keep them, which she should. Thanks for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Have a good week. There is links down below to our eBay store, Facebook group, Instagram, and all that good stuff. If you wanted to ask any questions or if you wanted to buy anything from us, get in touch on Instagram, get a better deal on that. And um, yeah, there's nothing nothing more to say. Do you want to say anything to the people? Um, no. I did a Stacey. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a good day, everyone. And uh, I'll see you next time.